Emotional Roller Coasters You stand next to the first cart that comes rolling in. This adventure is going to be so much fun and your expectations are great. Anticipating the twists and turns, ups and downs, all formulated just like a computer. It's the slow climb that exhilarates your brain because you know the dip is going to be a big one. It is all calculated and played out in your mind like a movie and you get to play your part. But what happens when you jump in is a different story. Your heart begins to race and you can't remember it being such a steep climb. Is this the same roller coaster you've ridden for years? Or did they switch it out for something more emotionally exasperating? Your emotions no longer were attached to logic of anticipating each cycle of movement on this roller coaster. This roller coaster took you on a ride you will never forget. Why? Because this roller coaster never stops to let you off. We trusted in this roller coaster to perform as we imagine, not to toss us about like a tornado. We put our faith in it, believing it's always going to be consistent, or at least what can be expected. But you found yourself screaming, get me off this thing, but didn't know how to stop it. Twists and turns made your stomach spiral into knots. You didn't know if you were coming and going. What happened? If our emotions are driven and dependent upon our circumstances, where this world is heading, then we are headed for a very turbulent roller coaster ride. Are we following others on this roller coaster to see if they get off or stay on? rather than following the voice of Jesus? Did Jesus tell us to get on this roller coaster, or were we driven by our emotions to get on? This isn't the time to give our emotions away just because we feel like it, or it seems right. Our senses can be very deceiving. More than ever, we are to be as stable, solid, and dependent upon our Lord Jesus and not dependent upon this world. It will take you on a roller coaster ride because this world is volatile. There is nothing stable about it. The enemy will use others to persuade us, destabilize us, control and manipulate us in the area of our emotions. Where do we place our trust? 1 John 2.17 the world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. 1 Corinthians 7.31 Those who use the things of the world as if not engrossed in them, for this world in its present form is passing away. This is why Jesus is called the rock of our salvation, so we stand firm and not hop on the world's roller coaster. It's never going to stop, and we are not to follow others around us. We are only to follow Jesus. Psalm 18.2 The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. Psalm 62.2 He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Psalm 94.22 But the Lord is my defense, and my God is the rock of my refuge. 1 Samuel 2.2 2. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. It's time to get off the world's roller coaster 
and keep our focus on the Lord and not on man, not on what they say, not in what they do, only on the Lord.